Hey there everyone, we're going to be looking today at the AF1 Utility. I know we've already done this once before, but this is a different colorway, so shall we go and have a look? Boom! Hey there everybody, it's Mr. B from Pint of Stuff, I'm back again. We've got another sneaker unboxing for you, but before we get to that, just to let you know, if you're new to these parts and you don't know what we do, we tend to do these sneaker unboxings, which we're about to do now, and we also do these cinematic on foot things. We also stream every Sunday where we talk about sneakers and stuff, and that would be at about 8 p.m. UK time. That's about 12 p.m. on the West Coast, about 3 p.m. on the East Coast on Sunday. If you're in Tokyo, that is 5 a.m. on a Monday morning, which is a little little early for my liking but if you join us amazing so before we go on I just want to say that I was um, gifted a voucher by Google who I work with in the day job and to spend at Nike and so this is what we've ended up with so before we uh, we carry on let's just let you know what they are they're the Air Force One utility um, they are a US men's 11 and a half that makes them a UK 10 and a half to show like you've still got I'm actually not take it to you take it to you still got the price tag there so that you know it's these were bought in the US and I bought them on my last trip with that voucher you all know that we've already got a pair of Air Force One utility and I've been so jealous of SJ with those shoes that I had to pick these up Ooh, let's have a look I really, 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 really wanted the Carhartt ones. I saw them in store and it would have been weird, wouldn't it, for me to get the Carhartt ones as well. So I went with these black ones, which they had. And actually, I really like them. I wouldn't naturally buy a black and gum, just plain Air Force One, but there's something about these. Let's just go into SJ on sneaker cam because the, the materials on these are kind of interesting. So obviously like the, the Carhartt ones, we've got the, the, the swooshes on the, fl the flap, the flap, the strap. It's a strap, everyone, it's not a flap. But I want to fold that back because I want to show you the material. So we've got this lovely tumbled looking leather back here on the, the, back, the back unit, the back part of the shoe. I can't speak today. But what I found really interesting was this material here. Now this is kind of a weatherized material. It's, it's rubbery. Well, I think it's weatherized. It's like this, it's got this really rubbery feeling. It just gives for a really interesting texture. And to prove everyone, to prove that I can actually undo these buckles, unlike SJ when she first did it, I'm gonna do this now. Like, <laughs> I can't do it, there we go. <laughs> So that's how they undo. And then we've got like this, the stretchy strap and it is stretchy. So that gives your foot a fair bit of distance in there. And then you just clip it back on. They look so good on foot. I love the oversized tongue, which we've got here. And we can see there, you know, we've got the detail up there, SJ. And then we spin around and actually on the inside of the tongue. So let's undo the strap again, because I want to show you the inside of the tongue. It's just slightly different. It's, so it's well padded as well. We've got there, we've got the neoprene. I think it's neoprene around the collar here. We've obviously got this oversized strap at the back with like SJ pointed out, I don't know, has it got with what looks like braille and SJ put, called that out again on, on her video, which we can see there. And then the best thing about these shoes, the best thing about them, the gum soles, a black AF1 and a gum sole is just a shoe that is just timeless. It's timeless, everyone, like just take a look. It is an absolutely stunning shoe. I can't wait to put these on. I can't wait to do the on foot for these. So nice. So big shout out to, to Google because this was unexpected. What I haven't called out, obviously. So let's, let's do the strap back up. Do the strap back up and actually, for, for people like me that don't understand instructions, what we've also got on the top of the buckle, if you can see that SJ, is we do have a couple of arrows to help us with undoing them. What I wanted to call out, so obviously on this side, no swoosh on there, it's on the, on the strap. We come on this side, we have got a tumbled leather swoosh, same color. And so what that does is that comes down across this rubberized material. So you really can see the difference in texture there. Such a slept on shoe, I think. I think don't think people don't realize how good these look on foot. If you want to see how good they look on foot, you can check out SJ's Carhartt AF1 utility video somewhere about there. And I'm also going to have linked probably now. I'm going to have also linked 
uh, SJ's unboxing of the Carhartt shoe because that is an absolute banger and that's what made me get these. I saw the Carhartt one in store, didn't pull the trigger because SJ has them, but really wanted a pair of these utilities. Um, went with the black and as I say, I think, I think I made a good choice. Let me know in the comments below, did I make a good choice when I picked these up? Because I think they're an absolutely banging shoe. Let us know. Have, have you tried these on? Are you getting on with these? I think they're actually potentially more comfy than a normal AF1. And I think that for me is because I really like this padded tongue, this super padded tongue. And I love this clipping buckle thing. I don't know what you call it, a buckle, a clipping buckle thing. It needs a more scientific technical term. Mechanism, it's a mechanism. It's a locking mechanism. It's the locking mechanism. That's what they should have called it, the locking mechanism. It's the locking magnetic mechanism the LMM system on an AF1 util utility, LMM. It's the LMM system that Nike have implemented on, on this shoe, yes. Say, I, I should work in marketing. I might do. Um, <laughs> anyway, everyone, let, let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed and you, da -da 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 -da, it's down there somewhere. If you haven't hit the no notification bell, just give it a little tap because it will help. It will definitely help when we upload videos and we tend to upload videos twice a week. We also stream on Sundays, as I said earlier. That would be about 8 p.m. in the UK on a Sunday night. Um, that is roughly 12 p.m. Well, it's not roughly, it is 12 p.m on the west coast that's about 3 p.m on the east coast and if you're in tokyo or the east it's going to be a monday morning tokyo it's about 5 a.m that's super super early super early anyway folks i'm going to leave you to it now shall we do the dog test dog test huxley thoughts oh yeah is that a, is that a good one or a bad one i think that's reasonable I think that's a reasonable one, SJ. It would have been weird if I had them and you had the same shoe, wouldn't it? You have the same FTC. We do, we do, but like, I would want to wear these a lot and the FTCs are too valuable <laughs> or too, they can't be worn in this country for fear of moss. The fear of moss, F-O-M. L-M-M, the locking magnetic mechanism. <laughs> right, we've really got to go. We've got to go and walk the dog. Yeah? Should we go and walk the dog? <laughs>